Hey everybody, Ian Preston here on my third YouTube channel. Welcome back to another movie review. Another movie anniversary review. Um, this is a pretty good movie. Um, to, um, this is filmed on Friday, June 19th. It'll go out tomorrow. Excuse me, my third YouTube channel. Um, today I will be reviewing a movie that came out, it came out on June 20th, 1975, 45 years ago, basically. Um, sorry about that, um. This movie, um, it came out in 1975, sorry, excuse me, I'm just trying to get myself together, and just had to burp, anyway, um, um, this movie stars Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfuss, and Murray Hamilton in it, and it's directed by Steven Spielberg, so it's a Steven Spielberg film, and the movie is titled, it's a thriller film, and it's kind of a mystery film, well, it's a thriller, and then drama film. It's called Jaws. The movie Jaws. We'll be reviewing that today. Sorry. And, um, and I've told you who's, who's in it all, and I think John Williams, yeah, is the person that does the, is, does the music, music by John Williams. He does the Star Wars music, and I think he did the Indiana Jones music and the Home Alone music. But, um, this year marks its 45th anniversary. Jaws' 45th anniversary. And I enjoy it. I haven't watched it in a while, but it's a good movie. Um, it all starts out with, um, there's like a party at the beginning of the movie at night. And this man fall, man is drunk. He's following this girl that gets in the water, nude and all. And then all of a sudden she gets eaten by this shark. And this man, this guy passes out drunk. And then the next morning, the police chief named, sorry about, sorry, named, named Martin Brody. He is, he's played by Roy Scheider. Um, he gets up with his wife and all, and his kids, they're getting ready, and turns out one of his kids got cut, and then they get him a band-aid and all. And I thought, um, Roy Scheider's character's like, you're in the car. <laughs> the car or something, it sounds like he's in New York, sounding like he's in New York or something. <laughs> the car. Like, like in Brooklyn, New York, but anyway, um, he goes out and he, f he, he gets a report that apparently that lady, a girl was eaten by a shark last night, and then, um, this guy that was drunk was showing, showing him what happened and all, and they were on the shore, and apparently, um, the 4th of July was coming up in their town, and, um, and apparently they heard that that there's some Boy Scouts swimming for their for their merit for swimming merit badges or something and they had to be careful and turns out they did not see any sharks and the scouts were okay and the mayor named Mr. Vaughn, Mayor Vaughn said, um, if you yell Barracuda then we're gonna have a panic on our hands and on the fourth of July. And eventually Martin Brody looks through looks through pictures of sharks and all and and um he sees like all kinds of scary sharks, and then the next thing you know, he's on the he's on the shore, and all of a sudden there's like people on the beach, and all of a sudden people are getting out because there was a shark, and this boy gets eaten alive, and um, they and everyone and apparently the his the raft that he was on was all deflated, and which was disgusting. Of a bunch of blood was all out there, but anyway, um. Let's keep going. Um, apparently, um, apparently there is some. Apparently, sometimes I feel like there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of talking in the show. They go into this place talking about how to catch the shark, and then this man's like putting his, like, what is he doing? He's like putting his um. He's using a chalkboard thingy against the chalkboard to like go up noise, and he said he was gonna catch the shark. He's played by Robert Shaw. I don't remember the guy's name, but he's played by Robert Shaw. He says he plans on catching the shark. And then, um, um, eventually, um, Mr., um, Chief Brody's trying to get these guys out of the water, but they're going out the bo on the boat to try to catch the shark, and then, eventually, he meets Richard Dreyfuss's character, and, um, because he knows a lot about sharks, and he had dinner with them, he had him over, he says he likes sharks, he knows a lot about sharks, and 
And then the next day, um, the guys that were on the boat, um, excuse me, caught a dead body shark. Apparently they found a shark. Um, but, um, and then eventually, um, the mother of that boy that got eaten, she smacks Brody in the face and explains, you knew there was a shark out there. You knew there was a shark out there. And, because she was upset about her boy being dead and she blames him for that and and then Mr. Vaughn, the mayor, says, she's wrong. And she's like, no, he's not. No, she's not. And then eventually um, Dreyfus and um, Scheider go out um, that night to search for something. And they find, find like, I guess, eggs or something or find where the shark's territory is. And then they try to explain to Mr. Vaughn that it's a great white shark. And, um, and, and he goes, well, I thought they caught... They caught the shark, and they goes, no, those guys, they caught a shark. They just didn't catch the shark. So apparently those guys on the boat said they didn't actually catch a, they caught a shark. They didn't catch the actual shark. They didn't catch the right one. And he goes, and tries to explain that they could try, like, and then they even put a, they even drew something on the, on the border of a, about a shark going after someone and says help or something and he goes sir if, if you can if you could shut it down this could save august said Scheider. and he goes august tomorrow's the fourth of july and we're going to be open for business this is one of the best ones we've ever had and usually he said they'll be having people come over um vacationing there and but they still had people out patrolling just in case of the sharks and yes the sharks struck back and then some guy got eaten and his leg bit off, which was disgusting. And then, um, Scheider's son, um, he didn't get eaten, but he, they got him out safely. It's just, he, he didn't die. He, he ended up in shock. And, um, he ended up in shock, so they had to take him to the medical place. And that's when Miss the mayor let Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, and Richard Dreyfuss' characters go out on a boat to go to go catch that shark, and then they say goodbye to their families, I mean, Scheider says goodbye to his family, and then they go out on the shark, they go out to find the shark, and they bring, like, propane bottles and explosives, and then that evening when they're on the boat, it's funny how they get a little drunk and all being funny and weird, (laughs) and then eventually they get some encounters with the shark, firing off explosives, and um, Brody's like, we need a, we, looks like we're gonna need a bigger boat. And then eventually they get Dreyfus's character in a cage, and then he, in the water, and then he gets scared, and the shark comes and shakes his cage, and then, um, he meant, Dreyfus's character manages to escape, but, um, um, eventually Shaw's character, Robert Shaw's character, gets eaten alive, which was disgusting. And then, Brody puts a prop- causes the propane to go into the shark's mouth. The shark swims out, fires at the shark, fires his guns at the shark. Then all of a sudden, the shark explodes in the blood and gore and blech. And then turns out, um, Richard Dreyfuss's character comes out. He was all right. And then they laugh about Ro- Robert Shaw's character's death <laughs> for some reason, which is weird. But they saved the they saved the town from that shark, which was good and all. And, yeah, so, happy ending, which was, but still, so I guess it's funny how a shark is the bad guy in the, in the film, which is, yeah, but anyway, I rate this about a 9 out of 10, or a 10 out of 10, it's pretty good, it did pretty well at the box office in 1975, it was a hit at the box office, hit of the summer in June 1975, but, um, eventually Star Wars came along in 1977, and it made more, money than Jaws did, but, um, other than that, this Jaws movie was a hit at the box office, and Spielberg did a pretty good job, puts a smile on my face, and it's a pretty good movie, I like the music, characters, storylines, pretty good, highly recommend it to anybody that's a fan of 1970s movies, or classic movies, because this is definitely a classic, but anyway, thank you guys for watching, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I can subscribe to more of these videos, these review videos, and that's all I got for you guys today. Peace out. Love y'all.